Hi, my name is Annalise Dossery, and this is my confirmation essay. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of the God who loved me and gave himself for me. I am nothing without Jesus. He lives in me and gives me purpose in life. I will never have reliability without Jesus. He is someone I can fall back on and, and trust to always forgive me. John 15:5 states, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. There is no purpose in living without Jesus. There is no meaning, no hope. Jesus guides me through life. He supports me, so I must trust in him. Mark 16, 16, in Mark 16, 16, Jesus says, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. We are made children of God. We are a part of a family when we are baptized by make, and making us a new creation. We will be saved if we believe and we are baptized. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Acts 2, 37 through 39. We will all have our sins forgiven by Jesus because we are now with God and our journey is with him. Isaiah 1:18 says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. I should be honest with God about my sins and confess to him so I can seek forgiveness. Confession also helps me acknowledge my sins and reflect on them, making me a better follower of Jesus. Acts 3, 19 through 20 says, Repent, then, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. I can help grow my relationship with God when I confess. I should always be as close as I can be with God. Confession allows me to have a stronger relationship with him. Matthew 7, 7 through 8 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock on the door and it will be opened for you. For everyone, for everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Talking in prayer makes it easier to find answers through God. I gain a better understanding about why something happened in my life and how I can deal with it. Philippines 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requ re requests to God. Praying gives me comfort because God will take care of my worries. He understands, and I must trust that. Praying makes a huge difference in my life. Everything is better with God by my side. Hebrews 10.10 10 says, And by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. I get a better understanding of Christ's sacrifice for each of us when I take Holy Communion. It strengthens my connection with Jesus. Hebrews 4, 4, 12 says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The Lord gives me direction with his words to lead me on the right path. Worshiping and listening to sermons help, helps me hear more of the scriptures and be with God. Matthew 28, 19 states, 
Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I will grow as a disciple by continuing to learn about Christ and His Word. Matthew 5.16 states, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Sharing the Word of Christ could help others find Jesus and find forgiveness in Him. So I will spread the Word of God because everyone needs to be saved.